Hello, I'm Stefano Colombo. I'm the manager of the technical marketing engineering team of the Optical Business Unit in Cisco. In this video, you will see a demonstration of the NCS 1004 multi hole capabilities, a demonstration based on the lab that is right behind my shoulders. As a use case, I will demonstrate that I can increase the wavelength capacity so I can increase the bit rate per wavelength when the network and the fiber have some extra margins. The products used in this demo are NCS1004, NCS2000, the Cisco Evolved Programmable Network Manager and Cisco Crosswork. Let's switch to EPNM. We have a pretty complex network that includes optical equipments and routers. We will focus on the top part of the topology that is an ultra long haul optical backbone based on NCS2000 system composed by 30 spans of 100 kilometers each of real fibers for a total of 3000 kilometers fully populated with channels. We will focus also on two NCS1004 boxes connected to the DWDM backbone that are the key protagonists of this demo. We can have a look to one of the NCS2000 box with amplifier cards and have a quick look to one of the NCS1004 boxes where you see the chassis and the four slots of it, all of them filled with a 1.2 Tera card. Let's switch for a second to the lab. These are the NCS2000 boxes that build up the optical backbone. And these are some of the fiber spools that build a 3000 km system, so a total of 6000 km of real fiber, considering this is a bi-directional system. And finally, the NCS1004 box, where we are using this port to terminate it to 100 gig wavelength, while the other ports are configured with a mix of bit rates. Let's go back to EPNM. I select now one circuit that is actually doing 2400 kilometers, 24 spans. I make a view 360 of the circuit. I check the endpoints. I see the circuit is terminated on port 0100 of the NCS 1004 nodes. I check now the physical performance monitoring. The chromatic dispersion is 38,000 picoseconds nanometer that is equivalent to 2,400 kilometers, being the CD factor 16.5 picoseconds nanometer per kilometer. I now dig into the NCS 1004 box. I click on the interface 0100 that is terminating the circuit and I check the bit rate is 200 gig gigabit per second. Now I switch to Crosswork, the Cisco automation and orchestration solution, of which I'm using the Network Insights service that we program to retrieve the Q factor and the Q margin of the interface under test. The Q factor is showing the performances that are actually pretty good. The Q margin is giving us an indication in decibel of how far we are from the limit. And actually, we have a lot of margins that we can indeed exploit and use to transform the wavelength to an higher bit rate, to 300 gig, for example. To do that, I switch back to EPNM. In order to speed up the operation, I have prepared an EPN script that will allow me to quickly retune the two NCS1004 to another bit rate. Then, I deploy my script. I select the card in slot 1 and I select 300 gig as bitrate. I check now in EPNM that the new configuration has been applied. I click on the interface 0100 and I check the bit rate is now 300 gigabit per second. I go back to crosswork and I see that the Q factor is obviously reduced as I'm going to an higher speed, but I still have margins as Q margin is positive. The multi-hole capabilities of the platform have consequently allowed me to transport more capacity on the same distance and network. By fine-tuning the NCS1004 interface, I can take the best out of my network and fiber. 
I hope you liked the demonstration and I thank you for your attention.